Hi guys, today I'll be working on a uh, General Dynamics GoBook XR1 or also known as an IX270. Uh, this particular unit here has a bad hard drive. <coughs> so I decided to make a video on how to replace the hard drive on these computers. Let me unplug it. First things first, we'll flip it over and we will remove the battery okay and probably looking at this upside down um, so we just you have two sliders here and just pinch those in and slide the battery outwards set that aside and then I just like to push and hold the power button just to discharge it Okay, then we have the hard drive door here. Okay, we have two screws that you have to remove from these two tabs. I am using a Phillips number one. Let me double check. Yep, num um, Phillips number one driver bit on this driver screwdriver that I have here. And then you just lift these tabs up and turn one clockwise and one counterclockwise and then you simply lift up and away and then that'll uh, expose the hard drive caddy here and of course there's a warning uh, it says to prevent hard drive data corruption disconnect battery and AC power before removing hard drive well we already did that so now we can go ahead and use this tab to just lift up and that's where the connector is I'm going to move this whole unit aside down here because all we are really going to focus on is just this here so let me um, let me zoom in a little bit okay and then let me get it to focus on that all right so looking at this it looks a little bit weird <clears throat> this is mo different than most hard drive caddies when you flip it over the first things you're well actually the first things you're going to notice is you have these two black stickers here Okay, and then you flip it over and there's a screw here so what we're going to do is we're going to remove this screw from the middle okay that will release this cover and this cover here this one you have to be careful with because it actually has the connector with the ribbon cable that goes to your hard drive Okay, now we have to remove this one here. So just gently peel this away so that we can reuse it. And of course, you're more than welcome to apply a little bit of heat just to melt the double sided tape that they use. On this one, since this flap was already kind of loose, we're just going to go ahead and just loosen this one here. And I'm going to leave that on. So now, I can work with this a little bit more, okay? Once you remove this, like so, ah, trying to get this to pop out of here, <clears throat> you will see that there are two screws there that's holding this ribbon cable connector to this black piece okay so all we have to do is gently just hold that there or actually you can slide the hard drive upwards to give yourself some more room so you're not putting too much uh, pressure on that ribbon cable alright so now we'll remove the two screws that are holding this connector to the black piece and then the black piece will come out. You have to be very careful because this ribbon cable on this hard drive, on this particular hard drive, it ha or this uh, model, it has this. Here, let me show you. Let me slide it. And you slide it towards you to remove the hard drive from its case. You have to be very gentle not to rip this ribbon cable here. Okay? This sensor here 
is for heat for the temperature of your hard drive. Okay? So, as you can see, we're going to have to remove these contact points. So, I use a plastic pry tool. Get under here and just gently, and I can't stress that enough, be very gentle when removing any piece from here. So now we, if you remove this, you can see that we have the normal SATA connector here. That will loop around, giving us the freedom to flip this over. Okay. Now that we flipped it over, I'm just going to gently start prying just around the perimeter of the sensor. This little pad here. Okay. And there we have it. That goes right here. So now we just set this aside and here's the replacement hard drive that I'm going to use. We're going to have to remove this little sticker from the hard drive. Again, being very gentle not to damage our hard drive, but we need to expose this. Okay. Now we take these and we just put those on there. Okay. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of maneuver this so that everything wants to stick to everything. So you just have to be very patient. Snap in the SATA connector. That'll loop around. Okay. And then we just press down on the Kapton tape here. Then follow this one around. And let's try to get it as close to centered as possibly, or as possible, excuse me. It's pretty late here. It's like midnight, 1230 or something like that. And then just press down on it very, very gentle. Just enough for it to stick. Yeah, 1231 in the morning. All right. Um, next step is now that we have this in here, now we can go ahead and slide it back in here. Be, again, gentle. Be very slow, be very patient. See how this wants to catch here? Push down on it so that it slides into the case. Ensuring that you're not going to rip, tear any of that ribbon cable. And then of course, once again, just push it past its point where it wants to stop. And Put your screws back in. That'll hold that connector to the black plastic here. And then <clears throat> these little slots here are for these to slide into. So let's push the hard drive push the hard drive down a little bit as much as we can just very gentle with it and then line up you'll have to look at it sideways so that you can line up your clips and then push so that the clips actually hook and then just push down on this tape here get it to just apply some create some heat by rubbing it with your finger and then we grab this piece and do the same thing have to line it up and slide it into place once we get this line up and lock into place push it together it'll lock and then you can go ahead and put that center screw and keep it all together and then we can just do the same thing press and apply some heat and there goes my flash. Fantastic.
rub off all your fingerprints. I always do. Okay, so now we have that. Let's pop this into the unit. Let me make sure that we're still focused. And then I'm going to have to uh, back out, I believe. We're going to go right here. So let me zoom out. All right. Get to focus. All right. <clears throat> and then you can just drop this in. Try to keep it as level as possible. And you'll hear it just gently click in. This we put in towards the back of the unit, towards the middle there. Turn those, push those down, and those will hold the door. But these screws are just to make sure that nothing else goes, that you can't just, you know, these can't just pop open. Okay, now we can go ahead, slide our battery back in, flip it over, open it, and turn it on. I'm going to have to remove you from the uh, tripod. There it goes. One second. Get off of here. Okay, let me hit the delete key. That's where we have to hit to get into the BIOS. Let me, all right, make sure that you guys are focused. Okay, so once we get into the BIOS here, this, we have to go over to boot. Okay. And this is our hard drive here. Hitachi. Okay, and then I'll uh, show you. This one doesn't have a DVD drive or anything. I'm going to be selling this unit on eBay. And it'll be going up soon. But just to show that it does have a hard drive, we're going to turn this off, turn it back on. See if I remember which one's the boot. I think it's F11. F11 to display boot menu. Okay, and we wanted to boot from my CD, my USB CD drive. Wow, it doesn't even want to focus to anything. Okay, well, I'm going to pause it while it boots into my software here, and then I'll be right back. All right, so let's see here. Now let's boot it in. And you can see this is the hard drive. And I have to delete the partition because this is off of another unit that I had. But there you have it, it, uh, it reads our 80 gig, uh, the one that we pulled out, this one here, this is a, uh, wow, sorry for, there we go, it's cleared up a little bit, this is also a Hitachi, this is what was in the unit, of course it's not focusing on it, but this is the original one and it was uh, clicking and everything, so I'm assuming that the head is, uh, or not the head, but the, the arms are stuck on the platter. So I'm going to open it up just to see what's wrong with it, and then I'm going to recycle this. Um, but yeah, there you have it. That's uh, how to replace your hard drive on a General Dynamics GoBook XR1 iX270. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps. I will be making more videos on uh, other repairs on this. I'll be doing one. My next one will be on a keyboard removal and replacement on this unit so if that's what you're looking for that'll be next um, also I'm gonna be doing one on replacement of the fan and so that'll be another video so yeah I have two other ones that I have planned on these units um, excuse my messy basement but I have some more over there I have what I got ten of them those two down there on the floor 
will be the ones I'll be doing the keyboard swaps. So I'll be showing you that. Uh, thanks again for watching. Have a good night.